In business tonight, despite realizing a near 10% decrease in its fixed-line voice business, Cable & Wireless Barbados Limited has recorded a profit before tax of $114 million. In addition, commenting on the company's 2016 annual report, Chairman Sir Alan Fields also revealed that mobile revenue grew by 3.3% over the previous year. He says this represents the second consecutive year of growth as the company continues to reclaim market share. The chairman says it follows on from the investment that the company made in previous years to expand and upgrade its mobile 4G network to island-wide status. Meantime, the company's fixed-line voice revenues fell by 9.5%, while its broadband and TV fell by 11.4%. Sir Allen also disclosed that the company's total operating costs decreased by a further 11% during the current year, following a 12% reduction in the previous year. Well, despite repeated efforts to establish its reputation as a compliant tax jurisdiction, Barbados has been placed on yet another list of tax havens. This time, it is Oxfam, the non-governmental international confederation of charitable organizations focused on the alleviation of global poverty. Oxfam has placed Barbados on a list of the world's 15 worst corporate tax havens in a report entitled Tax Battles, the Dangerous Global Waste to the Bottom on Corporate Tax. Barbados is listed at 13 on that list with Bermuda at number one. Other Caribbean territories include the Bahamas, Cayman Islands, and British Virgin Islands. Oxfam researchers reportedly compiled the world's worst list by assessing the extent to which countries employ the most damaging tax policies, such as zero corporate tax rates, the provision of unfair and unproductive tax incentives, and a lack of cooperation with international processes against tax avoidance. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. In Jamaica, Radio Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 447,189 units, followed by Virgin Paints Jamaica Limited and Pan Jamaican Investment Trust Company Limited. In Trinidad, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 15,000 shares valued at $13,200 followed by Trinidad Cement Limited and the West Indian Tobacco Company Limited. And in Barbados, One Caribbean Media Limited was the volume leader, trading 500 shares at $6.70 each, followed by Goddard Enterprises Limited and Sajigraf Financial Corporation Limited.